a sci-fi metropolis in an imagined world. It's the stuff of movie fantasy, or is it perhaps a glimpse into our future? As technology brings tomorrow within our reach, one city is intent on making its vision of the future a reality today. Dubai has built in around 50 years what has taken most cities centuries. Going from a tiny fishing village into an international trading hub. Home to more than two and a half million people. Burj Khalifa, Dubai Mall. If the story of this modern metropolis is one of constant evolution, then it's just embarked on its most ambitious chapter. The message to the world is we are Dubai and we are the future. There's almost no parallel to what's happening in Dubai anywhere in the world, let alone in the Middle East. Today, the city is a testing ground for tomorrow's innovations. Entrepreneurs and scientists from around the world are pushing boundaries, changing the way we will live and work in the future. There are always going to be entrepreneurs and innovators that push out that look at the world with things that we look at as crazy, which, by the way, when they succeed, seem obvious 10, 20 years later. But the signal that that sends, I think, globally, certainly to the region, but particularly to innovators, is all bets are on. One such bet is taking place inside this warehouse. Located on the outskirts of Dubai, this modest building is home to what could be the future of transport the world's first autonomous flying taxi. We will be making history, and everyone would like to be part of the history where you can tell in the future that this was the first project and I had that opportunity to be part of this project. Actually, you just need two people, maybe three, um, to assemble the helicopter. Great. Very good. Khalid Alawadi is from Dubai's Road and Transport Authority. He was charged with finding the technology and bringing it to the city. Let's say maximum three hours on, on the beach side. This should be completed. For German manufacturer Volocopter, Dubai offers them a chance to fast track their creation. If you look at the West, you look at the broader world, there's a lot of talk about technology. There's a lot of work being done in technology, but we're also slow in adopting a lot of that because it's just complex. Bas, bas, okay, down. That complexity doesn't exist in Dubai. Here, there's an environment that encourages disruptive technologies. They see that the global economy is moving towards these industries, and they understand that they have to get ahead of this game rather than wait for it to come to them. That's why innovations like the flying taxi are far easier to get off the ground. This is just a test flight but a fully operational flying taxi service could be just around the corner. So our target by the coming five years will be seeing uh, those type of uh, transportation flying in the city. But future transport services require a lot more than just mock trials. You need the infrastructure, not just only the building infrastructure, but also the technology infrastructure that are required to run this service in the city. That's where this place comes in. The brand new Enterprise Command and Control Center. This $90 million facility is already planning for the future, integrating all existing and potential modes of transport. We have the CCTV cameras on the right-hand side. We have social media feed. In the middle, we have Dubai map of all of the transportation information to tell us how mobility is in Dubai real time. Abdullah Bastaki makes sure all transport and infrastructure entities work together. So this was the impact on it uh, post the accident. Providing more efficiency for a city constantly on the move. 
what makes it unique that all of these control centers are integrated to provide the, uh, the view that we have today for mobility in Dubai. And for a preview of tomorrow's transport needs, a darkened room known as the cave. Here, through virtual reality, the city's infrastructure is tested to see how it'll cope with flying taxis, driverless cars, and beyond. Being able to analyze such data, to have data inside, to be able to predict the traffic, this is definitely the future of today. In a rapidly growing city, responding to future transport challenges is essential. But what if you could overcome them before they even happened? That's exactly what Dirk is trying to do. At Dirk, we develop software applications for both autonomous vehicles and regular cars using artificial intelligence to predict and prevent car accidents. Using a combination of citywide sensors and onboard computers, Dirk aims to anticipate erratic driver behavior and alert other road users to take evasive action. In the future, autonomous cars are coming, even flying drones, and we at Dirk, we're focusing on this transition. Dirk is already operational in parts of Dubai. George Aoud and his team credits their success to conducting tests in the real world. And that's only been possible because the city is receptive to their ideas. Dubai is leading when it comes to adopting new technologies. We're not just developing simulations, but actually we have our system on the roads, collecting data and improving what we're doing and showcasing the benefits. If a city is a machine, Dubai wants to be the most advanced machine the world has ever seen. It's the ability to say, this could be interesting, we don't know where it can be, we can experiment with the expanse of land here, and we can create a new way of thinking about rules and laws to see if it works. And if it works, it could be revolutionary. If it doesn't work, no doubt we'll learn something from it that we can take to another innovation. In the test bed that is Dubai, future concepts and high-tech innovations are given a chance to take root. They've built this city that is made for entrepreneurs, made for multinational businesses, made for individuals with dreams and visions who want to build something. But Dubai's groundbreaking innovations are not just in hardware. Advances are being made in software technologies as well. And one platform in particular could potentially change this city forever.